So new in Final Cut, you can import clips directly from the memory cards and you can edit them in their native format if you're using DSLRs. This is really nothing else but a huge time saver and easily one of my favorite features. So I'll give you a walkthrough really quick of what it's like to import a clip from a memory card, bring it in the timeline and do some edits on it. I've got a memory card in my computer right now and I'm just going to do file import and let's see, I've got a clip marked in green somewhere, there it is. And you can, uh, your events are where your media will be stored and you can either store to an existing event or create a new one. I'll create a new one called test clip and then you just hit import and there it is. It's already imported, ready to be edited. Just drag it into the timeline. Oops. And then there it is. And this clip does not need to be transcoded at all. It's an MPEG-4 clip from a Canon 60D. And I'll show you how well this performs really quick. So I'll slow-mo this clip um, to, let's do 40%. And take the pitch thing off. All right, so this is right off the camera. All right, so that's pretty cool. And now I'll uh, add some effects to it. So just like normal, all these effects are pretty lame, but I'll go ahead and add one. Aged paper. So now I have this really dumb aged paper effect. Still playing natively right off the memory card. Let's see, I can do aged film, which everybody loves to use. Looks really bad. Plays perfect. Um, so you can even add some like more uh, CPU intensive effects, like this water paint thing, which is pretty useless, but actually looks pretty cool. And again, this is all playing natively. I'll add a couple more effects. Let's see how many we can add before it starts slowing down. Let's try tinted squares. I saw a couple frames skip in that one. Let's try one more. Glass block. All right, I don't know how it's playing it so perfectly, but you can probably hear my laptop going a little crazy, so I'll stop doing this. All right, moving on.